Good morning. Out of my run, doing uh, four, four miles at an easy pace today to prepare for tomorrow's long run. And uh, then the day really gets started. But I'm gonna show you those ducks out there, some people fishing way down there, some art. This is, I like to run during the day because I am not scared to, to run this close to the edge during daylight, but it is absolutely terrifying to me at nighttime because um, the wind kicks up enough. These water will splash all the way up there. And look at that, you can't even see Navy Pier or the skyline right now. It's uh, a gloomy morning, but this is the kind of, I thrive off this, you know? You can see spring budding over there amongst the winterized trees. More people out and about. It's gonna be a good day. Righteous is a blessing. I like that. This is a Temple Shalom of Chicago. Beautiful building, but I, I just was finishing my run and I saw that statement. I just had to show you guys because I love that. The memory of the righteous is a blessing. Ain't that the truth? Ooh, 1928. Old. I gotta say, that's one of the more city esque things is going on a run and going all sweaty and gross in the running attire to your local jewel to pick up some beer and cookies for friends that are coming over to visit and then walking home all of it in hand guess who's home guess who took a shower guess who just tried chocolate you just tried chocolate guess who got vaccinated i did and it was super easy super simple but i am holding my baby in the arm that i got my shot in but i don't feel anything yet which one did you get I got the johnson and johnson single shot and that's the one sarah's getting on monday mm -hmm. And I just found out my sister got vaccinated too. Sweet, I'm almost everyone we know is. That's almost all of our family and close peeps. Yeah. Did you find a little pocket of chocolate I put in your lower lip? Mmm. Mmm. What are you doing? <laughs> I just made us some avocado bagels with the balsamic glaze on it. Pickles, one is for Peter. I'm gonna have a peps. So we have been waiting for today for a very long time because my best friend Lauren is coming here. Her husband Mikey and her baby Lucy, they're all coming here for a nice visit. We had our babies four weeks apart, which is crazy because I was due in October and she was due in December and I went late and she went early and so we both have November babies. Um, we've been best friends since college and it's just so special that we got to share pregnancy together. Obviously from far away, she wasn't my baby shower so we got to be together pregnant um, for one little visit. But now that we live here, our babies can be friends. Um, and so we're gonna have a nice day. It's kind of gloomy out so our plans that we originally had probably won't happen, but as long as we're together, happy camper. Oh. Hi, friends. Oh my goodness. Oh no! <laughs> Jamie! Hi. Okay, my friend is here. Look at this baby. Oh. Sweet Lucy. Are you okay? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh gosh, don't rock her with the umbrella, Sarah. So we are walking over to Big Star Tacos. Actually, the first time I ever had Big Star was with me. Yes. <laughs> um, it's very rainy this weekend in Chicago. We are hopeful for a patio sit somewhere, but we're just gonna pick up some food and go back. Another month. Yeah. But now we're here. I'm it's so not. Excited. It's not just a trip where we have to squeeze in the visit. Look at this Jean baby Bjorn that Lauren scored. My 90s baby. Did they find? Yes. Oh no, the baby woke up. Oh, she going back to the 90s. Also, I totally stole the color yellow from Lauren. That used to be her color, and then I moved away to Florida and yellow became my it color. It just completed I, us though. Yeah, because I needed you in my life. Peter got some potato, potato tacos. 
I got a walking taco, potato tacos. I keep, the word taco keeps on like leaving my mind. This isn't that fun. We didn't, we all got the same thing. Fancy, well you guys got fish. He got cheese on his potato, that's fun. So much fish. So much guac. left like an hour and a half ago but we were just, an, hour and a half. an hour ago our package came we can't show you now even though we want to really bad but we'll show you later i was supposed to update the vlog while we were in the car but james was kind of upset kind of like whenever we were playing he was good so i just couldn't update it but we're at my mom's now. We are not going to come here tomorrow for dinner, so we're here for dinner. My mom made us ratatouille. Looks so good. I know I've said before how good of a cook my mom is, but this would put any festival at Disney to shame. Honestly, I think my mom needs to like retire and open a restaurant and we could help and it could be like our next big thing. It's, it's always been just like talked about, like something we should do, but my mom is such a good cook and this is gonna be great. Looks like she also made some ham bean soup. Yummy, it was so nice of her. Now that we're back plant-based, she made us this. Um, my mom is the best. This was our movie pick of the night, but we gotta go. Alrighty, we are home and we actually didn't do the daily message yesterday, so I'll do both. For the ninth, you are entirely bonkers, but I'll tell you a secret, all the best people are. Lewis Carroll. And the tenth, there isn't enough room in your mind for both worry and faith. You must decide which one will live there. Anonymous. It is clearly not nighttime anymore. <laughs> I got... For lack of a better way of putting it, I got wrecked by that, that vaccine shot last night. I started I feeling a headache around like eight or nine. But then as we were getting ready to leave Sarah's mom's house, like I just started getting like the like the body aches and the shakes. And then by the time we made her home, I was just like full on not feeling good at all. So we went straight to bed. I, I went, did the daily message. Yeah, I like literally crawled in my bed with like sweatshirt, pants. I had my wallet in my pocket still. Um had a fever a little bit, but when I woke up this morning, like, I think I sweat the fever, it broke the fever, like, sweated it out and everything, and I feel fine today, so hopefully it doesn't, like, come back, those side effects, but, um, if anything, that just is a sign that the vaccine is doing its job, but we did get something very, very cool that we opened. The package that we got yesterday. So here's this beautiful 24 by 36 inch. Walt Disney World transportation map. Like it's like a city map. Like if you were to look at like the subway, it's wrapped it. It's still in like a protective film because I need to put the the um silver posts that are gonna be attaching it to the wall. But like there's Seven Seas Lagoon with the different monorail tracks, the different monorail colors. You can see the the different stations for the Magic Kingdom train, Discovery Island. Over here we can have Crescent Lake and all the different friendship boats and the gondolas are on here and everything and all the different resorts and the parks. So, so very, very cool. We're not 100% where we're going to hang this yet, but I want to hang it like soon. I want to get it up on the wall. I want to start looking at it, pointing at it, mapping out days. Like you can map out with a, with a dry erase marker, like how, where are you going to go and how you're going to get where. So very, very cool piece of art. Unique, not sanctioned by Disney. Bunch of disclaimers in the bottom. Just an artist online made it with like a copyright versions from December of 2020. So like anything that's been changed, say they added like a new 
monorail station. Like, clearly it wouldn't be on here or something. But, wow, look at all that transportation from Saratoga Springs. So accessible. And with this beauty, it's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.